Today Microsoft has released a new security update KB5035853 for Windows 11 version 23H2 and 22H2. This is part of March 2024 Patch Tuesday update, not only addresses security issues, but also introduces changes to make Windows 11 compliant with new DMA legislation in Europe. In addition today's update also introduced Moment 5 features on your device, that introduces several new features and improvements for users. To download Windows 11 KB5035853, open Windows Settings, go to Windows Update and hit Check for Updates. Well to enable Moment 5 features make sure you toggle on the Get the Latest Updates as soon as they're available option on Windows Update Settings. Well Windows 11 KB5035853 download and installation may take some time depending on your internet connection speed and hardware configuration. Once the download and installation completes, you need to restart your computer to apply changes. Click on the Restart Now option, or you can do it later. Also you can download Windows 11 KB5035853 offline installer on Microsoft Update Catalog. First visit the official site and search the KB number KB5035853. This will display a list of matching updates with their details, such as title, description, size, and date. To download an update, click on the download button next to it. A pop-up window will appear with a link to the update file. Click on it to download the Windows Update Offline package. Once done, you need to double-click on the installer and follow the instructions on the screen. Depending on the update, you might need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Installing the update will advance systems to Windows 11 build 22631.3296, you can check the same using Winver command. Now talking on what's new on Windows 11 KB5035853, this patch includes various fixes and improvements, the most important changes will be available for users in the European Union EU, since this is the update that brings the enhancements to comply with the Digital Markets Act DMA. This includes the ability to uninstall Microsoft Edge, Bing, OneDrive, and virtually any app. In addition to security patches, this update also fixed an issue which was causing installation problems with the previous Windows 11 Patch Tuesday release, KB5034765. On affected systems, it would display a 0x800F0922 error message and fail at around 96%. If you have skipped previous optional update released on February 29th, today's update bring all changes and fixes include Moment 5 feature. Ensure get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle on in Windows Update settings. In addition to Moment 5 features after install today's update you will notice the phone link settings page renamed to mobile devices. Users can access it by navigating to settings Bluetooth and devices mobile devices. Today's update also introduced the ability to use the snipping tool on PC to edit recent photos and screenshots from Android devices. Users can enable this feature in settings Bluetooth and devices mobile devices manage devices. This update also introduces support for the USB 80 Gbps standard, which is the next generation of USB 4 and offers twice the bandwidth of USB 40 gigabits per second. To utilize USB 80 Gbps, users need both a compatible PC and USB 4 or Thunderbolt peripheral. Additionally, the update ensures that games installed on a secondary drive remain installed after the update. It also fixes an alignment issue with long-edge fed printers related to stapling or hole punch locations. Furthermore, it resolves a problem where the Windows settings home page would randomly stop responding. Lastly, the update addresses a networking issue where a device fails to automatically switch from cellular to Wi-Fi connectivity when Wi-Fi is available. Today's update also resolves an issue with Notepad not opening for standard user accounts when opened through command exe based on file type association. Additionally, it fixes a problem where double-clicking 8 zip archives in File Explorer would fail to open them. Moreover, the update modifies the behavior of the crash on audit fail registry value, allowing standard users to sign into a machine that has stopped working when the value is set to 1, 1. 
Furthermore, it addresses various issues affecting Azure Virtual Desktop virtual machines, including random restarts due to access violations in lsas.exe and stop errors, rdr underscore file underscore system, on machines used as remote desktop session hosts, which result in all users being signed out. Additionally, the update corrects UI discrepancies in Microsoft Edge's Internet Options data settings, ensures proper notifications upon deletion of embedded SIM, eSIM, profiles, resolves connectivity issues with remote desktop web authentication, fixes troubleshooting failures in the Get Help app, and enables the selection of the Delta CRL. Option in the Certificate Authority Snap-in for publishing Delta CRLs via the GUI. Lastly, it localizes UI and steps in Steps Recorder to Chinese. In addition to this, when you open the home page in the settings app now includes a new card to lure users into purchasing a Microsoft Copilot Pro subscription. A similar advertisement is also available in the accounts section. Also you will notice, the Copilot button moved to the right side of the taskbar, next to the system tray. As a result of this change, the system will now disable the show desktop feature by default. In addition, Microsoft is enhancing Copilot with plugins integrating third-party services like OpenTable and Instacart. This allows you to make quick dinner reservations or food orders for a dinner party if you prefer to stay home. Future plugins, such as Shopify, Klarna, and Kayak, added in upcoming months. Copilot also enhanced with new skills for accessing device settings, device information, and launching accessibility features, making it more versatile and user-friendly. Also finally you can now add a friendly name for your PC while using nearby sharing. It will make it easy to identify your device which previously used your username. You can use special characters, but the name can be only 16 characters long. To rename your PC for nearby sharing, open settings, go to system then nearby sharing. And click rename next to your device is discoverable as. Also now onward, when you share a file using the nearby share window in File Explorer, you can directly share it on WhatsApp. If you don't have WhatsApp installed, a download symbol will appear inside the WhatsApp logo. You can also expect better transfer speeds while sharing a file when both devices are connected to the same network. What more, this update also introduces a new recovery feature that allows you to reinstall the operating system through Windows Update to repair the most common problems. The feature is labeled Fix Problems using Windows Update and is available on Settings, System then Recovery. When you launch the feature, Windows Update will download the current version of the operating system to reinstall the system while preserving your files, settings, and apps. So there is no hassle of backing up your data on an external disk. The Voice Access app now supports multiple new languages in Windows 11 Moment 5. So, French, Spanish, and German users can give commands and accomplish basic tasks with ease. Moreover, Voice Access now supports multi-monitor support, meaning that your commands will even work with the attached display. Another great addition is Voice Shortcuts, which lets you create custom shortcuts. Also Microsoft makes Windows Spotlight the default wallpaper setting in the Windows 11 Moment 5 update. If you use any of the inbuilt Windows images as wallpaper, Windows Spotlight becomes the default choice after installing the update. But if you use a custom wallpaper, the wallpaper settings will remain untouched. Also Snap Layouts now offer smart suggestions. It means that you have more options on how to stack all the open windows in different layouts. The usual layouts are blank, while the suggested ones show app icons to help you understand which app will shift to a particular position. Microsoft also improved screen casting by automatically displaying notifications when you cast your screen in certain applications. The widgets feature is also getting enhancements, allowing you to customize the widgets board by organizing your widgets into categories. After installing the Moment 5 update, the Start menu will now group recently added apps into a folder under the recommended section. Also, as you hover over the group, the folder will open with all the apps. Also in the Photos app, Microsoft is adding a new generative erase feature that removes distractions from photos and generates appropriate content to fill that empty space in a way that looks natural. This is something you may have seen on other platforms, like Google's Pixel phones. Additionally, ClipChamp is getting a new silence removal feature. Available in preview today, this feature can help you quickly cut out moments of awkward silence in a video, improving the pace of said video. While it's important to note, this feature will begin rolling out today for Windows users who have the get the latest updates as soon as they're available setting enabled in Windows Update. Did you have enabled Windows 11 Moment 5 features on your device? Share your feedback on comments below. Thanks for watching.